Celine Dion has a new documentary out this week, and there's speculation about a new Las Vegas residency. She was just spotted out on the Vegas Strip, as a matter of fact. So Las Vegas insiders and hosts of the Vegas Revealed podcast, Dana Roselli and Sean McAllister, joining us live from Vegas. So we'll get to Celine in just a second because I've seen some of the videos you guys posted <laughs> online, and I want to dive into that. But first, the 4th of July. And it'll be one year since the outside of the sphere lit up. They have a few things happening in order to celebrate. And I, I mean, no one can get enough of this thing from the outside even. It's so true. People come here actually just to see the outside and make a trip to Las Vegas. So it is quite a spectacle. Spectacle, And they're doing a huge event on 4th of July. And we're talking a 9.30 show and an 11.40 show. It's going to be uh, Pacific time, so our time. You can actually watch this show in person. And for the first time, they are debuting XO Audio. So you'll be able to hear sound along with it. It's really exciting. And then you can also watch on the live stream at the sphere.com that's exciting too because now the live stream is also going to stick so Ooh. the live stream will be there will debut that night and then will forever be there if you want to tune in and watch the sphere live but again fourth of july they're doing a big fourth of july show they're running it twice there's going to be fireworks there's going to be different themes so it's really exciting also the NH nhl draft is there this weekend and they just announced the eagles as the next residency as well so a lot going on at the sphere i was just mesmerized by that video so i can't imagine seeing it in person it'll be so cool uh, i do want to get back to celine dion though uh, she's been dealing with that crippling medical issue that's kept her largely out of the spotlight until recently. You guys had an up close experience with Celine over the weekend. Tell people about it. Yeah, uh, yeah it was actually a, a gift for my husband's birthday. We went to this concert for Hauser. He's a cellist from Europe. And uh, all of a sudden, this line of people came in the front door of the uh, theater and came right up the aisle next to us. Celine was in that group of people. Wow. Check this out. So everybody was delighted oh. to see Celine Dion looking so well and excited to be there. She was introduced by, by Hauser and just got a huge ovation from everyone in the theater there <laughs> over at Wynn. You can see she's being characteristically fun Celine <laughs> at this show too. Yeah, she's having she a good time. She was having a great time. Yeah, and it's so nice to see her. Look, look at her. I yeah. mean, she is just a delight, really. She always, whenever she's at a show, gets so into it and shows such respect and joy. And it, she just looks, you know, happy. And it was wonderful to see her like that. And uh, Hauser was honored to have her there. Uh, there was a little bit of a meeting before the show, and he showed some of those clips. And her saying, you know, I am a huge fan of yours. Him saying, I, you know, you're my biggest, you know, I'm your biggest fan. So I don't know. We have a feeling possibly maybe someday down the road they could possibly do a collaboration together. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? It'd also yeah. be cool if she came back and did a residency again. I'm just saying. Just putting yes. it out there for her. She's mentioned it um, in some of the interviews before the documentary. A couple organizations have interviewed her, and she said, I'm determined to get back on stage in Las Vegas. And if that happens, it would probably be at Resorts World, where she was planning yeah. to do it originally. Yeah, right. and I think, Jamie, one thing to keep in mind, we've had a lot of uh, comments from people online saying, well, Celine can't sing anymore. It's so sad that she's robbed of this incredible voice that she's become known for. Yeah. Well, it's important to keep in mind that what you see in the documentary is all stuff that started happening like really severely back in 2021. Mm. So it's been a bit since that documentary was filmed and Celine's been in therapy, right. she's been getting treatments and it is her goal to get back on stage. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I can't wait, this was great. Thank you both so much for being here today. And you can hear more from Dana and Sean each week on Vegas Revealed. It's available wherever you listen to your podcasts.